close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. The storms we chase are leading us. And love is all we'll ever trust. Yeah. No, I don't want to waste what's left. And I guys welcome back to daniel bailey tv it's finished fulham nil arsenal free now before i get into the video i do want to remind you all to smash a like on this video and subscribe if you are new to the channel would really really appreciate that oh what can i say what a comfortable comfortable afternoon it has been at craven cottage for arsenal and i guess the headline is Gabriel Jesus came on for 10 minutes and if I'm being brutally honest, it was the perfect time to bring Gabriel Jesus back into this Arsenal side because it was so comfortable out there. Literally, there was no threat from Fulham whatsoever. In an attacking sense, Fulham offered absolutely zilch, absolutely nothing. And I think bringing Gabriel Jesus back into a game like that it's risk-free that's pretty much all i can say about it really it's risk-free no chance of him picking up any injuries or aggravating that knee injury um because we've seen we've seen from before where arteta's tried to rush these players back and He's rushed them back too soon and they've picked up injuries. But with Gabriel Jesus, I feel like that Arteta has handled this brilliantly. I really do. I feel like he's handled this situation brilliantly. And, um, you know, cautious approach to bringing him back. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. And he had a decent 10 minutes. You know, he wasn't at his explosive best, but... You know, I didn't expect that. I didn't expect him to be his explosive best because he'd just come back from a long knee injury. He's, you know, he hasn't played an awful lot of football, um, competitive football since the World Cup. He's had a couple of training sessions. And I think this is the perfect time. I think this was the perfect time and the perfect game to sort of give him 10 minutes. I do expect that to increase. So, you know, when we play Sporting Lisbon at the Emirates in the Europa League on Thursday, I do expect Arteta to increase that. So maybe take it up from 10 minutes to maybe half an hour or even push it to 45 minutes. Because I think, you know, he come through that first 10 to 12 minutes unscathed. And um, yeah, hopefully we can see more of Gabriel Jesus because we're going to need him towards the end of the season, you know. We've got a massive run in now until the end of May, and we're going to need it. We're going to need Gabriel Jesus' his experience, not just off the pitch, uh, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch as well. We're going to need his experience. But other than Gabriel Jesus' return, guys, what a comfortable afternoon for Arsenal. Like, literally, it was so comfortable. Like, Fulham, they had a few chances in, in the second half. They looked like they maybe could get a consolation goal, but never during that game did I think Arsenal were going to struggle to get a result here. It was so comfortable. And I was worried about this game before, you know, um, you know, before I saw the how the game transpired. I was really worried because Fulham, uh, even though they're a decent side and even though they've struggled of late to kind of get results, they always, they're, they're that kind of team where even though they're struggling, they can pull a result out the bag. And they've had a decent season, Fulham. So I was worried about this game. And Fulham, over the years, so maybe more so at the Emirates than, than 
at Craven Cottage, but they're that kind of tricky team where if you don't take them serious enough, they can cause an upset. And I was expecting a little bit more of a difficult game, it being a London derby. But overall, guys, it was easy. Like I don't want to say it was too easy, but literally it was, guys. Literally, they offered nothing. Absolutely zilch. And to come away with three points, to come away with three goals. If I was to highlight one disappointment, I think it would be the fact that we didn't get more goals. And, you know, this title race is going to be tight. This title race is going to be um, tighter than a virgin's vagina. Do you know what I mean? So we need all the goal difference we can get. And we're, I think we're like five behind Man City. Like literally, we are five goals behind Man City in terms of like goal difference. So it would have been nice to close the gap on that a little bit more. Um, because if it comes down to goal difference, I feel like that Man City is going to just edge us slightly because obviously they've got Haaland, who's an absolute goal machine, and we haven't. We Our goals have come from, you know, in and around the team, whereas most of their goals come from Haaland. You know, I think he scored like 28 or 32. I think he's on about 30. So we need that goal difference to to push Man City to the limit if it gets tight when it comes to points, because it could do. You know, when you look at our April, we've got an absolute massive month ahead of us. We've got um, Chelsea, Man City, Liverpool all in the same month. We've got a home game against Leeds. They're, they've had a bit of a resurgence. And then we've got a game against Southampton. And then it, the likelihood is we're going to get through Sporting Lisbon in the Europa League. I, I'm not going to sit here and say that's a given, but you would think we could come through that game. So we're going to have Europa League as well. Um, I know next week we have a chance to go eight points clear if we beat Palace because Man City don't play. They're playing in the cup. So that will put added pressure on them because I always think it's better to have points on the board than games in hand because you're not necessarily going to win your games in hand. Um, but if we come through that, guys, we're still going to have to deal with a tricky April, even if we don't have Europa League. Even if we get knocked out against Sporting Lisbon on Thursday, it's still going to be a difficult month. It's going to be an incredibly difficult month. And you'd like to think that we can come through that unscathed. But the reality is we're going to drop points, whether it be at Anfield, whether it be at the Etihad or whether it be at the Emirates. I'd like to think out of those three difficult games, You'd like to think that Chelsea is probably the easiest game, but then the easiest games aren't always the easiest games. It might what seems easy on paper might not be easy. So even though we're saying that Chelsea is going to be an easy game, and even they are having a bit of a resurgence. So listen, it's going to be a difficult month. So we need all the help we can get, whether it's points on the board, goal difference. We just need as much help as we can get and listen I'm I, I think everything is aligning for us to win this title you know we're getting Gab, we've got Gabriel Jesus back we've getting Smith Rose coming back to full fitness we've got with the additions of Trossard who was absolutely excellent today guys Trossard was fantastic absolutely outstanding today what a signing Leandro Trossard has been um, you know, we're all disappointed about si uh, not signing Mudrick in the January transfer window. But what a signing Leandro Trossard has been. Absolute fantastic signing. And then you look at, you know, we've, we've got all our injured players coming back. You know, Vieira, again, he's looking like outstanding player. He only had a little bit of time today, but he, he looked decent. Um, so listen, everything's aligning for us to win this title, but, you know, we just have to go on and do it. And we've seen, you know, last season where we had a couple of games to go and we were in the driving seat 
and we bottled it. I don't think we'd do this this season because we've got a lot more experienced players who have gotten over the line before. And I think they will get us over the line this time. But you always have to be mindful of that fact. You always have to be mindful of the fact that that could happen because it's happened before. So listen, I hope we win the title. But in terms of today, guys, very, very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. Not even a threat today, Fulham. They were absolutely... They, they, I expected more of a challenge in this game and we got nothing. It was just so easy. Easy, easy victory. And those come those victories don't come up um they don't come along too often in the Premier League. So when they do, you have to enjoy it. And you know, compared to last week's heroics and you know we made a meal of that game. But yeah, this this week this week completely the opposite. Completely, completely easy and yeah, listen, we just move onwards. We move to sport in Lisbon on Thursday and then we got Palace at home on Sunday. Listen, guys, that's it for today's uh, match reaction. Do smash a like on the video, please. It's so important. I know I keep banging on about it in every video, but please smash the like button and please hit that subscribe button. If you are new to the channel and you've come across my content for the very first time, please, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Um, do let me know your thoughts on the game. Let me know what you think. Was it? Did you see it as easy as I did? And did you think we it was a stroll in the park for us? Um, because that's what I thought. Listen, I'll be back with the preview for the Sporting Lisbon game on Wednesday. Until then, guys, come on, you gunners. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,